Hello, Teacher Jackie here, October 18th, 2018, and I taught, well, I was booked my first class a couple of days ago, which was part of my schedule. Not sure if you've seen my previous videos, but I started the application process, I think, not really the end of August, but basically during September, and then got uh, a contract. I won't say hired because you're an independent contractor. You can choose to accept it or not. That is up to you completely. And so um, I just want you to know that. So, <clears throat> okay. I have an overhaul here, overhaul here. And for a reason, I got my application accepted and I accepted the offer. At first, I was confused at the offer. Thank goodness for, I forget his name. I'll come up later. He had a video and reminded me that that number is just half an hour, 25 minutes. <laughs> in my head, I had an hourly rate in my head, and I was like, wait a minute. So anyway, and then there's other incentives. You know, if you're on time, you get a dollar. If you're, um, gosh, what, a 24-hour notice, you get an extra two dollars. There's so many things out there for more income. But I wanted to tell you, yay, I'm hired, and yay, first day. Whew, in the books, I'm done. The best thing about it was that it was a no-show. <laughs> I prepared all my little, my little things, and I sat here, and I sat here, and I messaged the fireman and said, hey, you know, what do I do? And they said, wait till the 15-minute mark, and then you can go. And I said, do I need to leave feedback? Do I need to leave five stars? You know, what do I need to do? They said, nothing. Just go. So I left at 15 minutes plus, did a little screenshot, and um, saw immediately in my kind of, I call it dashboard, they call it teacher portal, that I had credit for it. So, yay. <laughs> Tomorrow, it'll be my second class. I prepared for it. It's a different lesson. These are all trial classes. And the beauty of that is that these kids are trying out the classes for free, 25 minutes. If they like it, they'll sign up. And if they sign up because of you, you get, again, more money. And if they sign up with you, then hopefully you'll have that constant client. Some I heard go two days a week. Some I heard have gone um, as much as, you know, what I say? <laughs> One day a week to some as two, maybe even three days a week. All right. Well, I'm just like fidgety because one, I want to go back. I'm going to go into bed. I'm tired. I was up early. And I wanted to come in here and just l let you see the, the change. I still have my um, purple thing up there. I just love that touch of color. Why the change and what's going on? I will tell you this, and I highly recommend this for everyone completely. Go through the application process. I would just say it takes about two solid weeks of your life going through, at least for me it did. Then go to every new teacher workshop. There are nine, and I went to all of them in one week. I just dove in. I went to like four one day and two another day and just really crammed it all in. You don't have to do that, but I did because I was afraid I was going to get booked right away. So I just opened up a couple of slots. Well, doing that really won't get you booked. It won't get you booked. So I was traveling in a couple of weeks, and I knew that all along. So I had my week, put a couple of, about a week or two, put a couple of slots in there and got a lot of amazing advice in the workshops about how to do the slots or what's best, especially if you're new. If you go back to back, you may not want to do back to back, you may want to do every other and how to do that because I still wasn't sure about turning on and off the slots, what I should or shouldn't do. And I learned what I shouldn't do. Anyway, so there is a new feature that's not new to me, but it's new to the older uh, coaches, a vacation or whatever. So I put my vacation in there and we did two weeks vacation. So two weeks um, I did workshops, two weeks I did vacation. But a month ago, after the vacation, I opened up all these slots for um, big blocks of slots during the peak hours, the PPT and peak hours of the days I want to work. And the more I talk to people, 
they said weekends were best. I didn't want to work weekends. So I went ahead and opened up all these slots from after my vacation to the end of the month here in October, basically from the 17th to the I think, 1st of November. So what day is it? I don't know. About the 15th or so, I got a message on my phone. I downloaded the app and it said, ding, you know, you've been booked. That was pretty exciting. But the booking is actually tomorrow's class because then yesterday or day before, I got today's booking. So overall, I just want you to know that it can happen quickly. It can happen later. Everyone is different. It totally depends on your certifications, in my opinion. There are teachers out there who um, are doing this. So they already have teacher certifications and all that. I did have my transcript originally because I had access to that where I was on our vacation. Not really a vacation. It was a trip. I had access to getting my... Um, let me check something here. I had access to getting my um, my diploma, my actual diploma, my de degree, and I scanned it in and replaced the transcript with the degree. That may or may not have an effect on my bookings. I don't know. So, speaking of which, with all the workshops I attended, a couple, maybe one or two in particular, marketing yourself was one of them with Jennifer, you, there's a lot of workshops and they all have different instructors. So you can go to the same workshop and see different instructors and get a wide variety of advice and information. Awesome. Anyway, after taking her class or workshop on that, I realized I really wanted to change my pictures, my intro video and my classroom. One, I noticed in the classroom I had white, 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 and this color it was just too busy. Even now, I'm like, Ugh, too busy. Maybe I should take this, you know, hand down, but then black, you know. But the other thing is, black contrasts me better. I can stand out better. Um, everyone has a, a map. I threw this globe up here last night. It's kind of sticky. And not sure if it's working very well, but we'll see. I have. Um, these little guys on a stick, but I'm not using them right now, so I just stuck them on my board. I have my name, Teacher Jackie, much bigger now. Um, I have VIP Kids logo now, now that I'm hired, <laughs> feel a little better. And I have this reward area well defined. So I think that helps. I have my little border. I want to get better borders. On one of the Facebook groups, they're showing, everyone's showing their backgrounds, and there's beautiful, like HGTV looking fall theme backgrounds. I'm slightly jealous, but you know, honestly, I think as a teaching environment, the more I see these videos of people, um, I'm realizing, you know, less is more or even more can be more. Um, but some of them just look kind of cluttery and busy. You decide. That was one major advice that I got in a workshop was do you do your teaching style. You're going to watch tons of YouTube videos. You're going to a lot of advice, you know, but do you? But there are some essential ESL type teaching that you need to do in order to make this effective, especially you're representing, oops, <laughs> VIP kid. So I wanted to throw that out there. There's just a bazillion things I could go over, but I'll try to make more separate videos. But I did want to pop in here and say I'm hired. Yay. First day is out of the way. Yay. It was a no show. Yay. I actually had hoped for that. My personal referring coach said her first was a no show. And I said, yeah, I kind of wish tomorrow. I don't want him or her to be a no show. And I'm ready, ready, ready. I want to get full pay when there are no show. You get only half. Um, I'm just have my stuff and I'm ready. I will say this. There's another workshop. And I love it how um, I already had this on my desk. But the gentleman mentioned powder because you don't want too much shine. And then I have a little fix my hair. Right now I'm about to go to bed. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I did wear lipstick in one of my mocks and the lady mentioned something. I said, well, one of your people had lipstick and one of the VIP videos referenced her. So, and they said, you know, when I was reading the VIP kid information, it said, be natural, be natural with your makeup. They're going to see you 
m, you know, not actually that's not right. M, m, not ma, m, or b, not b. They're gonna see your mouth. You know, make sure you're lit. Make sure there's no shadows on your face. You know, if I'm holding up, make sure there's no shadows. So be careful of all those things, but take time to schedule and go to the workshops. I believe my overhaul is, is an improvement based on that. I didn't know until later people would say, hi, my name is Teacher Jackie. Some would point up here, but some would go like that. And they reference it being a name tag. Just there's so many things like that that you may or may not know. Now that I feel like I don't have too much information, I have just enough where I feel like I have that middle ground. I'm not like under knowledge or over knowledge. I think I'm just right, the main thing. And I turn off all those YouTube videos, go to the workshops, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Then go back to some of the YouTube videos and filter much better of how you can represent VIP Kid, your teaching style, and your preferences. I have my notes up here for tomorrow. I have actually notes up here from today because I may be teaching those classes again. I was trying to think of what else I was going to show you. I don't know. I'm just excited, very excited. And so if you're watching this video and you're just curious about VIP Kid, please comment below or message me. I, I'll answer any questions, even if you use a different referral link or whatever. But if not, then I would appreciate if you did use my referral link. My family and I live on donations and referral, I'm not referrals, um, time for bed. We live on donations, we run a nonprofit. So I finally joined this to help out with some of the shortage for the nonprofit. So um, you can ask me about that too. All righty. Well, happy teaching. And if you're not teaching, you should. Uh, it's just an amazing opportunity to be able to um, make a difference in this world, honestly. All right. Bye-bye.